Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon at this fine day. Let me start by thanking the organizers, our brothers in the National Council for the Resistance in Iran for inviting me to speak today here in front of you. I believe that it's not only a privilege, neither it is an honor. I think that it is a duty for me as a Yemeni to stand here and speak and condemn and really express what we think and feel about what is going on in Iran and what has gone in Iran over the past four decades. The despotic and atrocious, theocratic and oppressive regime of the mullahs who committed this atrocious massacre in 1988 has continued its same sort of practices till today because we in the world have failed to hold them responsible for all the crimes, atrocities, and all the practices it has continued over the past four decades. As a Yemeni, I believe that the regime has taught many other dictators in the area, not only Bashar al-Assad, but we in Yemen, we suffer at, as far, at first hand from the peoples of the regime, the Houthis, the deposed dictator of Yemen, who are now continuing the same sort of practices in Yemen and across the Middle East, where we have people who are just disappearing. We have mass execution of children across Yemen in many of the areas which are under their control. So I stand not only to condemn all those atrocities which the regime has carried out against our brothers in Iran, but we speak about the crimes which now the regime is committing as well in Iraq, in Syria, and in Lebanon, and first of all in my country, in Yemen. We think that without a move towards urging the United Nations Security Council the United Nations uh, General Assembly, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, all those uh, councils which could help in urging for an inquiry into all the massacres which has been carried out, and first of all, this massacre which ended in the hands of those criminals who've killed 30,000 and more of our brothers in Iran. An inquiry into such crimes is now a must if we are going to stop the, uh, and hoping to stop further massacres carried out by the despotic regime. It's an abhorring fact actually to find